Hey there, all you crazy QAnon conspiracy theorists nutbags. It's me, the president of the deep state, and I'm here today to tell you how reality is going to unfold, because I'm just nice like that, and I never lie. So, first things first, we're going to let Trump win the election this year just because we've analyzed all the data, and the amount of trauma that we can put liberals through with constant fake news about Trump is actually extremely valuable. We basically have them all locked in a constant state of psychosis if you haven't noticed, which is very helpful as far as making them unwilling to fight back as we roll out the surveillance technology which we're going to use to control you and torture your children forever. He's also the perfect scapegoat to blame for our depopulation agenda. As we begin to murder and sterilize humans on a mass scale, being able to blame everything on Trump will remain invaluable. As you all know, it literally does not matter what he actually does because my good friend Satan and I own all the media companies, so we're just going to continue to report whatever the fuck we want, and most humans are actually still dumb enough to just absorb the demonic acid which we vomit out of the TV into your tiny little minds. When we planned the coronavirus martial law test run, it did not matter how Trump responded in any way. Everybody was going to say that he failed, and they're going to continue to say that. That's just literally how the world works. Anyways, Trump's in on this scheme with us. He, he used to be a Freemason, and I never lie. Moving on, it's not like the American election actually matters anyways, I'm already in control of 93% of the world's banks. We just use the American election to give you false hope that you have any power to change anything in your government, and to keep you distracted from using your actual power to change things in your own lives and communities, you stupid animals. Anyways, we might also sacrifice Biden before or after the election just so that we can frame Trump and make everybody hate him more. Just an option that we're kind of throwing around and thinking about. We actually already have plenty of Biden clones running around, so we don't really need the original. It turns out that he's much simpler to clone than Hillary. I mean, who would have guessed? Anyways, while well, you paranoid monsters are busy believing that 5G is empowering demons from the underworld to beam coronavirus into your fat Karen moms, what we're actually doing is simply directly degrading and traumatizing the souls of your children so that it's easier to possess them with demons and turn them into general monsters who hate one another and only care about their own acquisition of money, like the rest of you. So whatever you do, don't think about how you can help out and provide opportunities for the spiritual growth of children. That would be annoying. Once we turn all your children into repulsive and wicked beasts who revel in sin, we're going to lure Old Testament God to come back to Earth and wipe out most of you and do all our dirty work for us because it takes a lot of your tax dollars to engineer viruses and remote microwave technology and other stuff, stuff like that to kill you off slowly. And as we all know, Old Testament God is an intolerant bastard who nobody likes, who's always setting rules that humans are too stupid and weak to follow, so it shouldn't be too difficult to convince him to smite the crap out of some major population centers and help us wipe you guys down to a population size that's a little bit easier to control if we can just make you all evil enough that there's no reasonable possibility of you ever achieving redemption. By the way, I just want to emphasize that I am super excited for all the new surveillance AI we've got coming out. We can pretty much map out the entirety of one of your tiny little slave lives just based on the first hundred or so things that you put into Google as a child. It's really amazing. It's incredible. and It's wonderful. We, we hate when you guys do things that are unpredictable or try to evolve out of your role as slaves and build a reality that actually supports you. <laughs> So we sincerely appreciate your complacent compliance and continued interpersonal bickering as we mock you, dumb animals, by continuing to make you run around with pointless muzzles on. <laughs> but seriously, everybody, wear your damn masks and make sure to let everybody who doesn't wear masks know that they are dumb and evil and endangering on everybody else. Anyhow, as we begin to mass execute and starve all of the worthless vermin and maggots in major population centers, we would sincerely appreciate if you do not, you know, try to help or rescue them. We don't want, like, farmers and landowners in rural communities luring starving liberals to their land with sex dungeons so that they can offer you free labor for a place to sleep and eat and, you know, help you build badass, cashless, barter-based, cyberpunk, shamanic, self-sufficient techno-communes of the future. You just don't do that. That would ruin our control over you. So, you know, just sit back, enjoy watching everybody die like the good sadistic piece of shit which we have programmed you to be, 
and obey us as we tell you all that we're breaking the economy so that you all die, and wait for us to implement the new economy that saves you all once you're down to a more reasonable population. It's easier for us to spiritually entrap and separate your consciousness from the divine consciousness of God, which is your sacred birthright to pursue, but which we've stolen from you because we want this planet to be a paradise only for psychopaths, demons, and pedophiles. So, you know, that's all for my secret deep state presidential state of the union address. Go ahead and uh, smash that like and subscribe button if you want to know more about how literal demons are literally constantly trying to trick you into being dumber and more psychotic. Uh, TTYL, LOL.